Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm looking at African animals today. The African Big Five, which is the lion, leopard, elephant, African buffalo and rhinoceros, plus four other animals, giraffe, zebra, hyena and okapi. With habitats ranging from tropical rainforest to desert, Africa is home to many of the world's best known animals. In Africa, you will find savanna, tropical forest, semi-desert, wetlands, mountains and woodlands. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Lion Fights can occur between prides when game migrations force lions to move beyond their territories in search of food or when nomadic males challenge pride hierarchies. Fights can take the form of symbolic aggression displays and or ferocious physical clashes that often result in the death of one or more participants. If the challengers win, the defeated males are expelled and in turn become nomads themselves. The lionesses accept the new regime. Usually the conquering males kill all the cubs of the conquered pride. Within days of this infanticide, the females come into estrus and are ready to raise a new litter of the conqueror's cubs. Scientists believe that territorial challenges are good for the survival of the species. They ensure diversity in the gene pool and dominance of the strongest genetic characteristics. Lions kill their prey by breaking its neck or suffocating it by clamping their jaws around its throat. The stomach is usually the easiest point of entry into the carcass and this is the route most often taken by lions. It also gives them a direct access to some of the most nutritious parts of the body, such as the kidneys and liver of the prey. Zebra. Scientists can identify individual zebras by scanning images of their stripes. Every zebra has a unique stripe pattern. Zebras are actually black with white stripes, not the other way around. The fur grows from follicles that contain melanocyte cells, which generate pigment, suggesting that black is the default colour. Zebras can run fast when being chased by predators. They have excellent stamina and use zigzagging motions to dodge predators. They are social animals that live in herds. The social structure of zebras varies by species. There are three species, the plain zebras, the mountain zebras and greedy zebras. Zebras can fall asleep standing up because they have locking joints. This allows them to escape quickly if predators are nearby. However, they need to lie down for a deep sleep. Their black and white stripes help keep them camouflaged. When they are together, it's very hard to pick out an individual zebra. Lions are colorblind so when they see a herd of zebras, it's confusing as everything is in black and white, even the background. Greedy Zebra. It was named after a former king of France, Jules Greedy. He was gifted a zebra from the king of Abyssinia in 1882, now known as Ethiopia. The scientific name for Grevy Zebra is also known as Equus Grevii. Horses and zebras are closely related. They're not the same species, 
they are part of the same family, the Equidae family, also known as the Equus family. Although part of the same family, zebras aren't practical to ride like horses, mainly because they are smaller and they have a very different temperament to horses. They cannot be domesticated. Okafi, they have four stomachs like giraffes and cows to help digest tough plants. They have long dark tongues that can strip leaves from branches. They also use their tongues to clean their eyes and ears. Only the male okapis have horns which are short, covered by skin and they slope backwards. Females have hair walls where the horns are located, but sometimes they have small rudimentary horns. Okapis are herbivores that eat tree leaves, buds, branches, grasses, ferns, fruits and fungi. They are native to the rainforests of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Giraffe, they are the tallest land animals on earth. Despite their height, giraffes only have seven vertebrae in their necks, the same number as humans. Giraffes have long, dark tongues that can be blue, purple or black. Their tongues can measure up to 53 centimetres in length and are prehensile. They can wrap around branches to pull leaves off. Each giraffe has a unique spot pattern, similar to how each person has unique fingerprints. Their spots help them camouflage in their surroundings to hide from predators. They usually sleep standing up and for only a few minutes at a time. Sleeping standing up helps them escape predators quickly. When giving birth, the females are standing up. The two stubs protruding from a giraffe's head are actually Aussie cones, which are hardened cartilage that has turned into bone. Both male and female giraffes have Aussie cones. Giraffes don't drink much water. Spotted hyena, they live in clans. Females are the dominant sex and rank higher than males. They are primarily hunters, but they are also known to scavenge and steal kills from other carnivores. They are opportunistic hunters that often hunt alone but will work together to catch larger prey. African rhino, they are the second largest land mammals after elephants. They are mostly hairless with the exception of their ears, tail tips and eyelashes. Notice they have two horns that grow backwards from the front of their heads. Rhinos communicate with each other by leaving dung piles called middens to mark their territory and indicate their location and reproductive status. They are excellent swimmers and often wallow in water and mud to cool off. They can't sweat so they use mud as a natural sunblock to protect their skin. Rhino horns are made of keratin, the same protein that makes up human hair and fingernails. They are not attached to the skull and grow throughout the rhino's life. In the wild, some rhinos can live to be 40 to 50 years old, which is remarkable considering their size and the challenges they face in the wild. Rhinos have poor eyesight and it's said they can't see a human standing still. 
30 metres away. This makes it difficult for them to find food, stay with their herd or defend themselves. Rhinos can weigh over three tons. African elephant? They are the largest animals on land and their herds roam 37 African countries. The African elephant's upper incisors develop into tusks that can grow up to five meters in length. However, the tusks you see are only two thirds of the elephant's entire tusk. They use their trunks for lifting food, drinking water and communicating. It may contain as many as 100,000 muscles. They are skilled swimmers and can cross rivers, lakes and even shallow stretches of ocean. They use their trunks as snorkels to breathe while swimming. Elephants are amazing communicators and can use a variety of methods including touch, scent, body language, trumpet calls and vibrations. This one wasn't in my box, it's too big but I thought you'd like to see it too. Elephants have highly developed brains that are three or four times larger than a human brain. Elephants are often thought of as hairless, but they are actually born with a thick layer of hair called lanugo. Most of this hair falls off before birth and continues to fall out as the calf grows. African buffalo, they are social animals that live in large herds, sometimes numbering thousands. Herds are a defence mechanism against predators like lions, leopards, hyenas and African wild dogs. Both male and female African buffalo have large curved horns that can grow up to 2 metres long. They continue to grow throughout the buffalo's life. They have poor eyesight and hearing, but a well-developed sense of smell. They use their senses to spot lions, their main threat. African buffalo have a symbiotic relationship with birds like ox peckers, which feed on insects on the buffalo's body and warn the buffalo of danger. African buffalo cover themselves in mud to get rid of ticks and parasites. Their horns are formidable weapons against predators and are used when jostling for space within the herd. Males use the horns in fights for dominance. Leopard. They are strong swimmers that enjoy the water and can hunt prey in it. They also carry their prey across bodies of water and up into trees. Leopards are nocturnal. They hunt at night and sleep during the day. They have a wide variety of diet that includes large prey like ungulates as well as monkeys, birds, insects, small mammals and reptiles. With reproduction, the male will know when the female is sexually receptive by smelling her genital area. She will then lie in front of him with her rear end slightly lifted, inviting him to mate. He will mount her from behind. To ensure that conception takes place, Leopards will mate repeatedly during the female's estrus cycle. Copulation is brief, averaging about 10 seconds and is repeated many times. Like other cats, the male has a barbed end on his penis and as a result there is a lot of biting and clawing 
as the female lashes out at the male. Females will often mate with up to three different partners, which may be to discourage infanticide. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.